beautiful well-kept lawn while keeping your lake free from phosphorus and nitrogen that are found in fertilizers. There's actually a really simple solution and I can show you what it's all about. Here we have the beginning of the lake irrigation system. We have the water intake pipe which sucks the lake water through the feeder line. It then goes on shore to a pump which uses an irrigation system and sprinkles and waters the lawn. Here we have our lake water pump. It's fed with water from the lake through this feeder line. The water is then transferred into another pipe system where it is put through an irrigation system and onto the lawn. And this is all run with electricity. And here's the switch. It's uh, capable of um upwards of 50 gallons a minute and it draws from your water source which in this case is Glen Lake uh, through an inch and a half of black PVC and then I distribute it uh, continuing with the inch and a half black PVC and then one inch lines coming off to uh, the various uh, irrigation heads. I'm irrigating 15,000 square feet with 12 heads, all at one time. Also, the lake water contains nitrogen and phosphorus, which the lawn needs. The roots suck up those nutrients, and when the water returns to the lake, it's actually more clean because the nitrogen and phosphorus have been removed. Thanks to our lake water irrigation system, we can have a green, healthy lawn and clean water. Here we have an example of a lawnscape versus a lakescape. The benefits of this lakescape, which is a natural green belt on the shoreline, are that there's no maintenance. You don't have to irrigate, fertilize, or mow your lawn. And it also maintains a clean lakeshore like you see here. This natural green belt is comprised of native grasses, wildflowers, a variety of tree species, bulrushes, and sedges. All of these things work together in the green belt and act as a buffer and also keeps the water clean.